Dusty Birchfield, Rack 59 here. Uh, today we're gonna to talk even more in depth about PDUs and the types of PDUs that you can purchase and the power uh, configurations for your outlet plugs. So uh, there's three main types. There's basic, metered, and switched. And um, they, they increase in price in that order. Basic being the most uh, cost effective and switched being the most expensive. Um, so let's talk about basic. Typically it looks like this. It's got standard outlets, it's rack mounted, and it has no additional functionality. So it's essentially the same thing as a power strip that sits underneath your desk. The next type is metered. And meter does just exactly that. It meters the power and it typically has a digital display on the PDU and you can plug an ethernet cable into that, that PDU and see the uh, amperage that's being utilized in a live fashion. You, you can see what's happening, but you can't really change anything. Um, the one other uh, benefit of a metered is it allows you for remote configuration. So uh, PDUs are becoming so advanced that they have software in them. And so you can remotely configure uh, for the new software platform. The final is switched. Switched is the most expensive, but it has the maximum functionality. Um, so it does everything the meter PDU does. But in addition, um, it allows you to turn off outlets individually. So say for example, you wanted to see, you, you couldn't get a server to respond. You, you've logged in, nothing's responding, and so you wanna do a hard reboot, but you don't wanna go down to the data center, um, or you don't wanna call their, their employees to, to help you. So you decide, well, I'll just do a hard reboot from the power outlet. Well, Switch PDU allows you to do that. It allows you to power cycle that piece of equipment outlet by outlet. So you don't have to turn them all off and turn them all on. Um, this gives you a ton of functionality and a ton of flexibility remotely. Uh, the final thing is, is threshold alarms. So Switch PDUs um, will allow you to set an alarm. So if you reach a certain uh, amp draw threshold, that you start getting email alerts. And, uh, and so traditionally on PDUs, you only want to use 80% of the max available, and that's industry standard. So a great place for that, in, that threshold alarm would be at 70% or 60%. So that when it hits that, you can get an alarm and know that something's different, uh, things are spinning faster than they're supposed to, or somebody's added some equipment that you don't know about, uh, one of the other technicians maybe. So threshold alarms are a big deal. So three different types, the cheapest starting with basic, more expensive metered, most expensive switched. The final thing we want to talk about is outlet configuration. So on a basic PDU, typically it has a standard Edison plug, the same kind of plug you'd see in a wall. Uh, what we look for that, uh, to ensure that vibration doesn't allow for power supplies to come loose is, a, is an outlet type called a C13. C13 is the same 110 voltage as a standard Edison plug, but uh, it, it, it seeds so that vibration doesn't allow it to come out. An Edison plug obviously does not do that. The other final type uh, typically you'll find on a PDU is a C19. C19 seeds the same as a C13, but instead of a 110 output, it has a 208 output. So that allows you to plug in a large blade chassis or a large sand that needs that 208 input voltage. So those are the things we need to learn about. What type of PDU, basic switch metered, and what type of power configuration and power cabling that you're going to select when installing your equipment in the data center of your choice.